Hi, I'm Joey with this week's science and tech news. Space was definitely out of this world last week with crazy phenomena and discoveries popping up left and right. First, a mountain-sized doomsday asteroid brushed past Earth at a distance of 745,000 miles, which astronomers consider a near miss in cosmic terms. Then, Jupiter's three biggest moons, Callisto, Io, and Europa, cast a rare triple shadow which won't happen again until 2032. The gas giant is the solar system's biggest planet, and it has over 60 confirmed moons and is the fifth planet from the Sun. If you're more impressed by the icy rings of neighboring Saturn, the second largest planet, then get a load of this. Scientists have found a super Saturn outside of our solar system with rings that are 200 times bigger. It has more than 30 rings, tens of millions of miles wide. What better way to explore the starlit mysteries of the great beyond than with high-tech space gadgetry? Back in 1969, NASA's Apollo 11 made history with the first successful man-moon mission, landing Americans Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on its surface. Now, NASA is looking to conquer Mars, and they're developing an unmanned helicopter drone that could one day explore the red planet. The little chopper weighs about 2 pounds and is 3.6 feet wide from blade tip to blade tip, and may join NASA's 2020 Mars rover in the future. Meanwhile, Google's Lunar X Prize recently awarded millions of dollars to companies that are trying to land the first ever private spacecraft on the moon. And the European Space Agency's comet orbiting Rosetta spacecraft captured snowflake-like dust particles. See, last November, Rosetta's fillet lander made the first ever comet landing. Unfortunately, the solar-powered machine got trapped in a shadowy region where it was forced to hibernate, like me, on a lazy Sunday. Still, scientists have picked up great up-close footage of the comet. Eli uh, is working. The fact that there is radio contact means that all systems seem to be go. Uh, there's certainly been quite a lot of data come back from some of the instruments on board. With all these futuristic discoveries, will scientists find evidence of an alien civilization? Well, they're certainly optimistic, since they've identified the oldest known system of Earth-sized rocky planets in the Milky Way. Even though the five planets can't support life, they're part of a system that formed 11.2 billion years ago. Since the universe is only about 13.8 billion years old, that means the Earth-sized planets could have formed much earlier than scientists once believed. Since some of those Earth-like planets might have been livable, alien life would have plenty of time to evolve. I mean, scientists have already found water on moons in our solar system and on planets beyond it. So it's not too far-fetched to imagine them finding evidence of microscopic bacteria, simple plant life, or even complex organisms. A stranger from the outside. Greetings, I am Buzz Lightyear. I hope they do find other Earths, because the pollution taking over places like Hong Kong means we might need a new planet someday, or two, or three. Hong Kong is a thickly populated city and international trade center located on the southern coast of China by the South China Sea. It has a deep harbor and its skyscrapers glitter brightly in the night. But the air is filled with toxic pollution that threatens the health of its citizens and business travelers. In fact, Hong Kong residents were recently warned to avoid the outdoors, since mainland China's nasty air has swept in and made the air extra toxic. Even the ocean is glowing blue from algae known as sea sparkle, which usually only shines when it's disturbed by boats or other movement. Now, entire shores look like a Twilight movie because high pollution levels are agitating the little guys.